In this video, I'm going to look at um, 2017 question paper and the section B, B1. You will hear three extracts of music from around the world. So we're going to look at B1 today and let's first look at the questions. You will hear an extract from a piece for instruments. Read through questions 10 to 12. Halfway through the extract, the piano plays an ascending scale. What kind of scale does it play? Then we have the chromatic, the major scale, a minor scale, or a pentatonic scale. And you have to tick one of those boxes. Then comment on the articulation used by the melody instrument in this extract. Okay, so the instrument playing the melody, you have to comment on the articulation for two marks. And where does this music come from? Okay, so now you have to go through all the world music in your head and decide which one fits and then give two reasons for your answer. Do not repeat any information already given in your answer. So if you comment on the articulation there, you're not going to give it as a reason here. So let's listen to the music. Let's wait for the music. Okay, they give you a long time to now answer the to questions. Now listen to music B1 and answer the questions. There, I hear that scale in the background. So I'll tell you exactly where you hear that scale in the background. So I'm sure that you already figured out where this music is from. And the second time, listen to that articulation. If you have the articulation, make sure that you Mention what you hear first and what you hear second. It must be in the correct order. So let's listen to that ascending scale. Ascending scale, the scale that goes up. Music B1, second playing. What is that articulation that you hear there? Other, other articulation. There is the scale in the background. I think you have a good idea where this music comes from and give two reasons for your answer. Now for one mark, you had to name the scale. And the first scale that I see here is a chromatic scale. And you will see that I have semitones between the different notes. So let's listen to a chromatic scale. Welcome, I'm Robert Esper here at virtualismusic.com and virtualpianos.com. Today's subject is what is a chromatic scale? All right, you've all heard it, you've probably all played it. And I'm gonna break it down for you so you understand exactly what a chromatic scale is. Well, you know what major scales are? We've had that topic before, a series of half steps and whole steps. Well, half step, a refresher on that is simply any two pieces playing next to each other with a note in between. So a chromatic scale is virtually all the notes in order without skipping any or repeating any. So ultimately, there is only really one chromatic scale. You can even start on different notes, but it's always the same series of notes, just half steps. So if you start on middle C, for example, you can just go through every note. next scale is the major scale okay so we have for IGCs you need to know your four sharps and four flats for the majors I'm sure that you know what a major is it is the 
Do re mi fa so la ti do. Hey. The next one is the minor scale. I see here A minor, that's related to C major, and I have the G sharp, the raised seventh. So let's listen to a minor scale. Now the next possibility is the pentatonic scale that I find in a lot of world music and we've got some very interesting but slightly long videos on YouTube about this pentatonic scale. Penta meaning five notes, so I only use five notes in my scale. C, D, E, G, A, G, E, D, C. I find that a lot in African music, Chinese music, okay, so other world music, so that you can go and listen to. So that's the first question. The next question for two marks, you had to comment on the articulation used by the melody instrument. And we know that articulation is all about the staccatos, accents, tenutos, fermatas, legato playing. So when you identify the articulation, also mention bar numbers if you can, or the order. So in this case, what you heard first, whether you heard staccato first, whether you heard legato first, and then what follows. So this is what they want there. Now for three marks, you have to say whether this music, where this music comes from, and then two reason for your two reasons for your answer. So you have to know, make a list for yourself. Is this gamelan? Definitely not. Is it from Africa? No. Is it from the Arab world? No. Is it from China? No. Is it from Japan? No. Is it from India? No. Is it from Latin America? Yes. Okay, and we're going to discuss now why this is from Latin America. Okay, so that is your answer there. I will also put a link um, in the description box on a whole video I made of this Argentinian tango so that you can go and study that. Now the instrument that we heard there was the bandoneon and that is an instrument that if I hear that I know that I am um, busy with the music of Latin America. Okay, And that was the tango music from Argentina. And I also heard the piano. Now the tango is in a minor key. And I have the use of the bundle neon. So you can, can't, for your reason, get another answer here because you already mentioned this instrument. Um, I have four beats in a bar. And it's I have a lot of syncopation and accented notes. Now the tango is the national dance in Argentina. And I have a fusion of a lot of different styles from Europe, Native America and African slaves. And in the tango ensemble, I have two violins, a piano, a double bass, two bundle neons. Now the key features that you had to mention there was it was in two four time or in four four time signature, syncopated rhythms. It begins in a minor key, it modulates sometimes to the relative major later in the music. I have simple harmonies. And I have frequent chromatic notes in the melody line. And I, it uses that common tango syncopation. So let's listen to this music again and look at the mark sheet. I hear the bundle neon there. 
suppose it was staccato, now it changes over to legato. And then you hear the chromatic scale. It's from Argentina because it's the tango. You can also say South America or Latin America. And you have the bandone on there. It's four beats in a bar. Syncopation you could mention. Accented notes. And it's a tango. Because you answered chromatic there. The chromatic melody. You can't write this you've got a lot of options for your two marks there i have made a video on the music of latin america the argentine tango so this is a very good revision video and i'll put the link in the description box and then you will know everything you need to know about the tango i also like this tango revision video piano playing and also the bundle neon so you will be able to recognize the Latin America music and you hear how they mix up the staccato notes with the legato notes And then you see all the instruments playing in the tango. The key instrument is the bandoneon. Bandoneon. You always have that mixture of the articulation staccato and legato. pianos in other world music that you have to study for IGCSE. So if you hear the piano, you know it's Latin America. And syncopation, that offbeat, I hear in tango music. And it's got that tango syncopated rhythm. Usually in a minor key. And the important question in, um, we had today was that chromatic scale on the piano. And you hear the syncopated rhythm there. Dum, bum, param, bum, bum. So that's more modern. So watch this video as well on YouTube. This will help you a lot. So you've got like very short little fractions in your melody. Little sections there. And I'm sure that this will help you a lot with your studies.